that normal fast Kentucky. Looks like we're trapped. There's a break we can get through. We can't make it. Check for the rock. Kentucky! Oh, Kentucky! Kentucky! What's the matter, dude? Oh, I hit my leg. Come on, we've got to get out of here. Well, I can't make it, Kentucky. Save yourself. Hang on. We'll get out of here yet. Two white men? Two white men, Kentucky and dude, burn up canyon fire. I go tell Red Hatchet to start dance for victory and death. Go. Oh. Steve Plaggett to get out of town, Peter. I did. I told him to stay on the cover at the Indian camp. Look. I'll teach that gun to do as he's told. Come on. Hello, Matt. Hello, oh, there. How are you, sir? Hello, Taylor. How are you, Doc? Hey, have you gone crazy? A run in with Kentucky Wade would ruin our setup in Paradise Valley. Don't worry. Wade can't prove anything. No? Why can't he? He knows you've been running guns to the Indians, and he can prove it. Kentucky Wade can't prove anything, I tell you. He's dead. Dead? Are you sure? I've seen him with my own eyes. Him and his pal dude got caught by fire in a box canyon. They never come out. Well, that leaves only two of the outfit to be reckoned with. Trigger and the Mexican. Yeah. And they're probably at the ranch guarding Larry Monroe and his sister. With Kentucky gone, I reckon they'll be ready to give up the fight. Well, I guess I'll put things back on the stove for Kentucky and Deuce. That's a good idea. And don't you worry. They'll be here soon. I bet you. If they're not back in a half an hour, Mike. I'm riding to Brimstone. Yes, and I go with you. There's someone coming now. We've got this paper in town. There's bad news in it. About Kentucky and Dude. Give me that. Oh, Trigger, what is it? Read it, Trigger. Tragedy in Fox Canyon. Indians report death of two men in brush fire. Kentucky Wade and companion perish in flames. They recognize Kentucky by his white horse. And the man with him must have been dude. Kentucky's dead. I can't believe it. There's something wrong here. Kentucky was too range-wise to get himself trapped in the canyon fire. What are you driving at, Trigger? I bet he was bushwhacked. And the fire started to cover the killing. I get my gun and we go look in that canyon. Take it easy, boys. Kentucky! Kentucky! There's nothing in that canyon worth bothering about. <laughs> Don't believe all you're reading the papers. Don't tell anybody we said so. Better sit down, Larry, and take care of yourself. Oh, I'm all right. Figured the newspaper had it all wrong. Not as wrong as you think, Trigger. There was plenty of fire in that canyon, but our horses found their way out, and we trailed them. He ain't telling you he carried me out. Oh, do. Yeah, where have you fellas been? Didn't you know we'd be worried? We hid among the rocks until sundown, because we want some folks to keep on believing what they read in that newspaper. Meaning the outfit that's trying to run off Larry? Yeah, and I know it's the same outfit because Steve Claggett is mixed up in it. I see. You're gonna lie low and let them come out in the open, is that it? That's the idea. Yes, but where are we going to do this lie low business? The first part for it is back of the waterfall on Driscoll's Ranch. Yeah, but they know about that place. That's where Steve Claggett held me prison. Exactly. They know that we found you there, and that's one spot they're going to fight shy of. Ah, he's a good 
idea. You know, sometimes I think... Wouldn't it have meant much to you if that newspaper story was true? Well, I do. You know, I think you're... Sure is a reader of character. <laughs> the storms will ask him. Good idea. Hello, boys. Morning, Joey. Come to see us. I'm sorry to hear about Kentucky. We need men like him around here. Thank you, Judge. They told us at the newspaper office that Mr. Keeler was over here. Have you seen him? Why, yes, sir. There he is now, just coming out that back room. Hello, Mr. Keeler. That's you. Morning, Mr. Keeler. Morning. Reckon you remember, eh? Of course. You're a friend of Kentucky Way. Can't tell you how sorry I am. That's what we came in to see you about. We thought maybe you could tell us where we could find what's left of Kentucky and do. We want to put up a little monument for them before we go away from Paradise Valley. You're leaving Paradise Valley? Yes. We've got no more business around here now that they're dead. Well, I understand how you feel. Man brought in the story at the faro table over there. I'll bring him over. Thanks. You know something? When you talk about Kentucky as being dead, I nearly want to cry. Reckon I did pretty good. Good? You are the most grandest mentiroso I ever know. Thanks, Mike. Hey, what's a mentiroso? He's a big liar. This is Buckskin Frank. He's friendly with redheads he's driving. How are you, Buckskin? Did you see the accident? I didn't see it myself, but the Indians told me your friends were trapped by a fire at Elderbush Canyon, about a mile north of their village. Thanks. Excuse the left hand. But you're on? Uh, horse stream. They'll do that sometime. Well, thanks again. And thank you, Mr. Keeler. Go, Mike. Hello, Doc. Have a drink? Well, I seldom refuse. Well, I reckon we put it over. Mr. Keeler will put in his newspaper that we're leaving town. Sure, and the boys that's after Larry's ranch will make the next move. Hi, kid. I've got to see you. It's about Kentucky. Wait outside at the side window. Here you are, kid. Better get moving, Buckskin. There's no hurry. Indian smoke signals travel faster than any horse. Long before they get to Elderbrush Canyon, Red Hatchet's warriors will be waiting for them. All right, do it your way, but do it now. Well, so long. So long. I believe this fellow Buckskin had something to do with Kentucky and Dude being burned up in the fire. What makes you say that, kid? Because Kentucky and Dude were following him and Steve Plankett when they were killed. I believe the kid's right, Mike. That Indian Kentucky shot must have been Buckskin. Sure. That's why he don't shake with his right hand. He said the horse throw him. But it's the bullet wound in the shoulder. How do you know he shot Buckskin? Why, you fellas talk like Kentucky's still alive. If he was alive, kid, would you keep your mouth shut? I sure would, Mr. Trigger. You tell Kentucky he can trust me. So do we, kid. See you later. Come on, Mike. We can still catch him. So long, fellas. Oh, hello, Mr. Hardy. <laughs> Wait a minute. What have you been up to? What were you telling them? I wasn't just saying goodbye. Don't lie to me. I heard them say they were going to catch somebody. Who are they talking about? I ain't telling you nothing. and the Mexican are wise. They just turned it out to get buckskin. Are you sure? Positive. We've got to work fast. Get as many men as you can trust and get them started. Right.
There he is, Mike. Aha! He's building fire to make the smoke signal. Singers you were sending. That's my business. Don't worry, I'm making talk figures. Hey, get away from me. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Hold him tight, figures. These make you talk. Stop that, you coyote. Oh, so I'm a coyote, huh? I can't do this very much more. It tickled me too. <laughs> Let's tie him up and get him behind those rocks. Quick, mate. wasn't turned, I'd let you have it. There's another one behind those rocks, Mike. Go get him. Si, si, amigo. Get going. Trouble, Trig. Just a little target practice, Kentuck. How many rattlers were there in that nest? Four of them. I tromped on one, and Mike's bringing in the other one. Well, I guess that's a lot. Thought you fellas were at the cave and back at a waterfall on Driscoll Ranch. We started there, but got to worrying about you. So we headed for Brimstone, just in case you might need us. When we heard the shooting, we came to see what was up. How did you get into this ruckus, anyway? We tell you when we get to the hideout. First, we have a big surprise for you. Yeah. We got still another prisoner tied up over there in those rocks. I'll go get the prisoner. Ni 
Rasta, Niwa. No use, boys. He's made a clean getaway. Get those armors on their horses and head for the hideout. Get rid of that powder or we'll be blown up. That's easy. 